Well, some area is seeing some rain right now, Kristen, but it is not here to stay. Not here to stay. In fact, over about the next hour, we should start to see all of these sort of die down and move off to the east. But we still have a flash flood warning in effect for portions of southeastern Lawrence County. Now, this is in effect until 915. Hopefully, everything will start to die down and we'll get this uh, canceled early. But areas from Elwood City up to the north, we're looking at areas that have seen several inches of rain. We could get another one to two inches of rain from this very heavy downpour. You can see that outline there on the radar really Elwood City under the gun right now and that area is heading to the southeast as well. Doppler radar rainfall estimates. Now again, these are just estimates from the radar, but look at that concentration just in this one area, anywhere between two to three inches of rain within about the last hour. And we're looking at the rain ongoing. So these are very small but very heavy downpours. We had another cell that prompted a flash flood warning for portions of central Allegheny County for about an hour. That has now been canceled, but this line of convection pushing over in three through northwestern Armstrong County. So Catanning, you're about to get poured on, then stretching all the way down to West Deer. Another line along this cold front, popping up some heavy rain from Blainsburg all the way up to Greensburg. And then this will be pushing on over to the East Uniontown, going to get rained on in about the next 15 to 20 minutes as well. Back behind this, you can see some drier air. So this is just ahead of the cold front that's slowly crawling through the area. A lot of heavy heavy rain up and down the I-95 corridor. This is just the tail end of activity behind this cool front. We'll get some nice dry weather and clearing. We're already starting to see a bit of that downtown in Pittsburgh. We're down to 69 degrees because of the rain. We were in the upper 70s, but there we see across the area temperatures really cooling off where it's raining, staying a little sticky in other areas. But your forecast for the rest of the night, we're looking at this line of convection to begin to die out over about the next hour or two, and then everything starts to clear out. Looking for patchy fog possible early tomorrow morning, but lots of sunshine Monday, Tuesday, and most of Wednesday, and the temperature really starts to climb Tuesday, Wednesday, upper 80s. Can't rule out a stray shower later Wednesday, but more likely Thursday through Sunday, we'll have sunshine in the morning, mid 80s, and the chance of an afternoon shower or a spotty storm.